Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on how to transfer the applications and games on SD card uh, to actually increase uh, the um, internal memory on the Galaxy J5. You can also do this on the Galaxy J7 if you insert the SD card. So I have put my, I've inserted my SD card here on my Galaxy J5. So I'm just going to show you here the so same procedure. So I'm just going to go into the settings and then I want to go into the storage and as you can see down below it shows my memory card which is which has like 14.82 gigabyte of total space and 4.38 gigabyte of available space so um, as you can see it's running pretty fine now to transfer the application into the SD card you need to go into the application manager here application tab and, and here you can go into application manager now uh, these are the applications that you have actually downloaded on your phone um, as you can see into the benchmark and all that now as as you can see on SD card uh, these application can be transferred so I'm just gonna click on them click on a certain application like let's see let's see this and to benchmark I want to transfer it to SD card so I'm just gonna move it and it will take some time moving and you can see you can also clear cache caching memory and all that stuff here so it will take time uh, it depends on the um, data of the application so as you can see application now moved to SD card successfully so as you can see uh, even though I have moved the application to SD card uh, there's still like uh, 13 MB available in the internal memory so but like most of the data is now on the SD card same thing with the dead trigger 2 I can move it to the SD card now the app will move to the SD card remember app will move to the SD card okay not the data I mean this is dead trigger 2 has like almost uh, 400 to 500 MB of data so that data will not going to move in the SD card the app will move keep that in mind in order to move the whole uh, ob or the data of a game like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, data files you need to root and use um, a, 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 a root tool so that's a pretty long procedure but yeah as you can see now still after moving the dead trigger 2 to the SD card we still have like 30 to, uh, 35 MB of data available on internal so we're gonna do the same thing with the fruit ninja here I'm just gonna move it to SD card and as you can see application is 50.86 MB in size uh, total is 51.28 let's see how much data will will be left in the internal memory So you can do the same stuff here. This one has like 16 gigabyte of memory, so definitely a lot more memory than this phone. So as you can see, um, Fruit Ninja, but still after moving that much data, we have like 23.47 MB available on the internal memory. So yeah, uh, full data cannot be moved, but still, as you can see there, we still have uh, some data here on the SD card and you can actually free the internal memory a little bit more uh, but definitely you can't really install big games on this phone it's a 8GB model so yeah on the other hand the J7 has 16 gigs of internal memory so you don't really need to transfer application to the uh, memory card it will do just fine so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one if you if this video helps you out give this video a thumbs up share it and also if you have any any type of questions uh, related to this issue then do comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one Peace out.